Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Today we're gonna go over how to draw Michael Myers. Uh, not Michael Myers, you know, from uh, Austin Powers. Michael Myers from Halloween. And we're gonna do this slowly and easily so that beginners understand it. This is for beginners, okay? So it's be step by step. I'm gonna be using this, a Faber-Castell PATT artist pen, uh, and uh, probably a variation of that, actually. I'm gonna use a thinner one this time. Uh, if you wanna get this marker or this set, uh, I'm gonna put the link in the description. Basically, these are very similar to Sharpies. They act in that way, except uh, the difference is that they don't have a horrible, horrible toxic smell, which Sharpies tend to have a toxic smell, which damages your brain over time. Um, so I use this. Plus it's just, it handles better. Okay, ready? Let's go in. And first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the front shadow of his forehead. So start straight there. Then I'm gonna curve a straight line right here for his brow. I'm gonna pull back. Also following his brow. Pulling up just a little bit, right? Just a little bit. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna go down the bridge of the nose. It's gonna pull downward. So his face, he has a kind of a short nose, um, the Halloween mask. Uh, I know that everybody really knows this, but you know, originally they got that mask. It was a William Shatner mask for Halloween, um, that it was a uh, like a Star Trek mask, and they colored it white, and that's pretty much what Michael Myers' mask is, you know, uh, as that prop. Pulling right here, finding that tip of that nose. I'm gonna down right there and kind of connect that. So what I'm doing is I'm playing with shadow, right? He's always in the shadows, so that's kind of a good thing to do. Pulling downward into the nostril over here. Underneath. Pulling straight down right here into the upper lip. Don't worry, it'll make more sense as we're you know, putting it together. I'm gonna pull down just a little bit there to the down toward the upper lip toward the bottom, uh, the, yeah, the top lip. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pull a straight line here for the philtrum, which is kind of a, a divot part of the, of the upper lip. This is a dip, pulling down, right here, side of the mouth. The kind of where the part, the mouth parts, pulling down here. Shadow of the up, uh, the lower lip, bottom of the lower lip, and that curls into the jowls essentially. And that's gonna pull back into the kind of the crack of uh, right abo abo above the chin, right there, where the crack is above the chin, below the chin, and then the chin is pulling back here toward the neck. But it doesn't go that high, that far back, because it's a mask. So it's just going to pull back down. So let's go back to the top of the forehead here. And we're going to find the hairline. Pulling across. Before we, do, before we continue that, we're going to find the eye. So we're going to do the eyebrow. top of the eyebrow, pulling in, top of the eye, pulling down, crack of that eye, the back, you know, far side, and then this side of the eye, and then we pull up. Then I'm going to throw a small circle here, and this circle has to do with a little bit of light catching in uh, kind of that section of the eye. Okay, so let's continue. We won't fill that in yet. And then we're gonna pull some of the hair. Basically the wig, it has no sideburns. Finding the ear shape, pulling down. the collar here, pulling down, inside of the ear, which is essentially, think of like two drops, and then like a, like a one drop in a bean shape, 
And now let's find the outside of the shadow here. So we're just going to find the outside of the brow. Pull down. Outside of the face. And that's going to roll into the far side collar. And that's going to pull down. I'm going to pull this inside collar down. Down here like a step ladder. Same thing with here, a step ladder. Pulling into the collar. Maybe some folds there. Very simple shapes right here. You can just copy that shape. Uh, pull straight line here to show some folding. It's really just simple straight lines. I'm gonna pull up on the outside of the face. So outside, maybe a hair sticking out there. Now I'm going to go for that kind of swoop that his hair has, that wig on top. Swoop? He's got that, like, wig hair. And it's going to pull in slowly. And then I'm going to draw the hairline here. Sorry, the hairline. The hair strands. So I'm following the direction of the hair. Essentially, it's kind of pulling back. So he's a little different than Jason, because for example, Jason, um, Jason in uh, the, the Friday the 13th movies, um, he's a hockey mask, and his it's much easier to get the type of a hockey mask, right? It's much easier to be like, oh, you can identify it as a copy as a hockey mask. With uh, Michael Myers, it's like a human face, so it kind of has to come off a certain way because it's basically like a real face, but it's like a mask of a real face, so it's it's kind of confusing. Um, one thing, I, important thing, I totally forgot is the, the crack of the cheek here. Basically, it's the laugh line. That's a big, big thing with him, forget that. And then he's got that, like I said, Filtrum is right here. He's got that kind of, uh, mm, kind of look, like dopey look, to be honest. Uh, and then we got the far side, maybe some, like, like some light coming from the far side there. And actually in the inside as well. So light hits different parts, like that would be the brow and then this would be the side of the cheek that the light kind of gets to. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna fill in those dark shapes with this big one. Uh, and that is gonna be easy and fun. Well, hopefully easy. When you fill in certain shapes, be careful because you don't get a second chance at this. Um, this is uh, clearly, you know, this is marker. Also, don't forget, uh, I did mention it in the, the announcement in the beginning of the preview. Uh, check out the sketchbook that I have. It basically puts a, uh, a compilation of art uh, of 24 pages of art that I haven't posted anywhere. And I put it uh, pretty much uh, just up for you guys. And I, it's up only for a little bit, but it is uh, kind of the season. Uh, it's the same price as like what a pencil case would, would cost you, so it's no different than that. But I worked on it for many years, uh, so check that out. Uh, it is fun. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I had worked a lot of my life. While well, I'm filling this in, I'll just kind of talk to you because literally it's just kind of filling it in. Um, as I was kind of becoming an artist, it was kind of my dream to just kind of draw whatever I could out of my mind. Right? like my own creations I also have some fan art in there but that feels like it's an accumulation it's like a dream come true it's like oh I can actually do this now it was because so, it was so hard to come up right when I was learning to draw I hit this brick wall many 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 times I just couldn't get out of it um, many brick walls where I'm like I thought I couldn't improve and I had to uh, ultimately you know I thought like well maybe I'm gonna find a different career and I thought that like many times but I'm in such a good place right now, and I feel amazing, and I kind of want that feeling for you guys as well, uh, hopefully. Uh, if you do this for a hobby, absolutely great. Um, if you just want to be good, absolutely great as well, right? Like, you know, stick around. Um, if you want to do this, like, as a career, I guess, you know, that's kind of different. Um, you know, if you have any questions about that, let me know. I'm pretty sure everybody's just sort of watching this for fun, though. But 
And if you're really, really serious about improving, by the way, if you're really serious, um, there was one thing that made me better, uh, and that was traceovers and drawovers. So basically, I would take your drawing and I would, uh, you know, basically draw over it. Like, you know, on the computer, I'll take a photo of it. And, uh, you know, you give me a photo and I'll go on computer and I will just kind of correct it on Photoshop and I'll point out what you would need to do the next time to improve that. And that pushes you forward like nothing ever, ever will. Um, that's what pushed me forward. That's actually what got me out of my slumps was, was having someone else do that. Um, but that's invaluable. And the way it works is you, you got to go to school for that stuff. Um, and school cost me like, you know, 30 grand. So, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was too much. I mean, it was, it was worth it though. Um, but I started doing it online. I'm going to be doing it for the rest of the year. Uh, unless I get a job before that, then I probably will stop. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do it for people. I'm passing it down. Um, so like, let me know. I offer it on my uh, Patreon, which I will, uh, link in the description. So if you do, if you're really serious and you just can't get over this hump, um, it's like, what would you like? It's just, it's invaluable. You have, you, you know what I mean? If you, you need to, if you need to do that, do it. I'm there for you. I love this drawing. Anyway, sorry. I never say that. I really like this. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate you watching. Uh, reach out to me. I'm going to be around. I'm going to be posting twice a week, Monday and Friday, most likely. Um, probably a little bit different this week, but thank you so much. I will see you in the next video and keep the Halloween spirit up. Share this and I will talk to you guys next time.